What is up Saber fans? This is Gibson here from the Saber Supply. Today I'm going to be doing a quick preview of this Dark Saber um, as seen in the Mandalorian series. Okay, um, this Saber is a very, very, very unique and uh, one of a kind because uh, not just because of how it looks, but uh, if you have seen the show, you will know that uh, the Dark Saber does not have the usual um, blade that you usually see uh, with other lightsabers. Um, this one we have a black uh, bladed that looks like a normal um, a saber blade. For now, let's take a look at the hilt design first. Um, this is a dark saber from Elf Saber. The hilt is very heavy. So it's very heavy and uh, it's really good quality build. This is the one button setup, so uh, the activation auxiliary key is all over here. Okay. The saber is just beautiful. Okay, and when you receive the saber, it will not be functional at first. You will have to access uh, the chassis and then turn off the kill switch. To access the chassis, you have to unscrew that um, pommel retention screw over there. You can unscrew that um, pommel retention by doing so. Okay, and then the screw will come off. Like so. And then you can remove the pommel to reveal the kill switch and the chassis. No, it belongs to her. You will have several boot sounds when you turn off the kill switch. Without that blade, she's a pretender. I really like Moff Gideon's voice. Personally, I think his voice is as good as Morgan Freeman. But uh, you can argue with me on that. Okay, so when you put the chassis back in, you will need to screw in the, the pommel retention screw again by doing so. A few moments later. Alright, so the saber should now be functional. You want to press this once for activation. Alright, so let's move to the big studio and see the blade in action.
So this is for battery indicator. Alright guys, so that's about it. I hope you guys like this saber. Um, me personally, I like it very much. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.